Uh, five. Hi, Irene here. I am so happy to be here today. Um, if you've met, if you've gone to my page, Meditation is Love Energy, then you will see that I just posted a new picture of what the soul looks like, which is pure light. And that light is the one that is going to help you to get to the point of knowing when you're truly hungry or not and listening to that guidance. So today's topic is, are you really, truly hungry? When you go to pick out something to eat, and I would hope that you're picking vegetables, fruits, coconut, coconut meat, coconut water, that you're, you're really listening to the guidance of eating from Mother Nature and not from boxes, which I call destructive foods. The other ones are healing foods. So I would hope that that's what you're reaching for. But even when you're reaching for something good, let's say it's an apple, are you doing it because you're really hungry? Or as, are you using it as some kind of a comfort, like an anti-anxiety pill or uh, anti-depression pill? Are you using it that way to comfort yourself? So ask yourself, whenever you reach for food, am I really hungry? And go inside your body and feel. Do you really feel hungry? And and if you're not hungry, then do some activity. Try to find something that you're passionate about. I just started doing the finger painting with the love coming out of my fingers, and I'm really truly enjoying that. So if I'm going to reach for something and I'm not really hungry, I'm going to do the finger paint instead. Or I'm going to go for a walk in nature. Now, I already drink a lot of coconut water. I don't eat a lot. If I'm going to eat, I pick a fruit or a veggie, you know. But it takes a while to get to the space. And you know that there's breatharians that's, that's there as well. That survive from the light, from the nectar of the that comes down as you meditate, which is the youth, the fountain of youth. And it's that sweet nectar that you get in your in your in your throat as you're meditating. So, look and see if you're really truly hungry. I used to be the type of person that I would go into the refrigerator if there was a pie, which uh, now I eat raw pies. But if there was a pie, I would have the first slice, eat it, and then I would keep on eating over and over and over until it was all gone. And the reason I did that was because I was using it as a pacifier, like babies use pacifiers, because I had issues that I needed to release. I had a lot of negative emotions, you know, that I needed to start releasing. And I didn't release those negative emotions till about four or five years ago. I woke up 10 years ago and on the journey realized that I needed to start releasing emotions. And that came through meditation as well. Going in and feeling the emotion. So when you go to pick up a food, go in and see what you're feeling. Is your body really hungry or is it an emotion that you're feeling? Maybe you're alone. Um, for me, it was being alone and having to do something I didn't want to do. Because I, um, as a child, I had an experience, a traumatic experience that left me feeling alone. All right, And left me feeling like I wasn't in control. So as an adult, whenever I was alone, I would use that to the food to comfort myself. So start asking yourself when you reach for that destructive food or even good food, am I really hungry? Eat when you're hungry. The, um, the calendar time, which we're out here, the trees, the water, all of this doesn't have any time element. It just is. You should be just being. So. The calendar time has had us, hey, wait a minute, it's breakfast, I gotta eat. Wait a minute, it's lunch, I gotta eat. Wait a minute, it's dinner, I've gotta eat. And I've seen people that have just had lunch and a couple of hours later, like two or three o'clock, they'll say, you know what, it's close to dinner, let me eat again. And they're looking at the time. And are you really eating when you're hungry? So start really focusing inside. Remember when we close our eyes in meditation, it is really a tool for us in our waking hour to really truly see and stay connected to the inside. Because when we see the outside world, the outside world is in control. When we're in touch with our inner self, 
our inner self is in control, we could hear the guidance and we could really tell what our body needs. Remember, the mind and body has its own intelligence. The soul light that we really are, the true self, gives us the guidance through the cosmos guidance. It's able to hear and then it's able to feed that information to your, to your mind and to your body. Remember, the heart was the one that was first created. Always follow your heart, not your head. So, always drop there. Are you hungry? Feel the love first. That'll direct you, intuition, to see if you're truly hungry or not. Do some fasting, at least fast once a week, so you can see what true hunger feels like. Because we've lost that, especially in the United States, that we eat mountains of food. And we're, we're conditioned with the, the, the media and seeing all these commercials. Did you know those commercials automatically trigger your hunger? To get hungry so it is all advertising okay understand that it's all advertising and they know how to do that between the colors and and and, and making the the, the uh, foods very attractive with a whole mess of rainbow colors to it yet the true rainbow colors for you to eat are vegetables and fruits well it's all that said and done have a beautiful day we always share that love and that light and remember are you hungry are you truly hungry? Have a great day. I know, that's okay. Did I stop?